In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome circle transition inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got two video clips on your timeline, we can begin with this transition. So as you can see, I've just got this first clip and this second clip. So in order to begin with this transition, we first just want to go ahead and create a new solid. So we'll go layer, new, solid, and select a color of your choice. I'm just gonna stick with this nice yellow in this example. Then press OK, OK. Now from here, you want to go ahead and draw a circle or an ellipse mask on your yellow solid. So we'll just go up to this option here. It should say ellipse tool, but by default, it's probably saying rectangle tool. So if it's saying rectangle tool, just drag that down to ellipse tool. Then you want to select the yellow solid. We'll load up the proportional grid to help us frame up this. And then a quick tip, if you wanted to create a perfect circle, then you hold down shift as you're drawing that circle, because if you don't press shift, it's just going to be a free draw. But if we hold down shift, we'll get that perfect circle. So I'm just gonna go up to this point here, hold shift, and then I'll just draw down to here. That's about right. Now from here, I want to make sure that mask is perfectly in the center. So I'm just gonna drag this up and make sure all four of these points are sitting on a line. So these are lined up perfectly. These are lined up in the middle. Now we can turn off the proportional grid. So proportional grid off. And now we can go ahead and begin the animation process with this transition. So in yellow mask, we're gonna go into that mask. So mask, mask one. You can see you've got all of these options and then just on the right, we've got inverted. Press the inverted button and that's gonna flip that so everything else outside that mask is now yellow and then everything in the mask is revealed. Now, if we go down to mask expansion and we play with this, we pull this down, we pull this up, you can see this is going to be the basics of our transition, our animation here. So we want to start with it off screen. So if we take that up to a high number, so in this example, that is 907. Then we want to scroll to the end of the first clip and come back on ourselves a little bit. So maybe go 10 frames to the left and create a brand new keyframe on mask expansion. Then we'll go towards the end of that clip and we'll pull this all the way down so that it now fills the screen. So we're taking that all the way down to minus 250. And you'll notice, by the way, that I'm not exactly at the very end of this clip. I'm one or two frames before the end. That's because we want this to hold for a moment before it comes back out again. Then we'll just go two frames to the right, another two frames to the right. So now we're above this second clip. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask expansion again. Then we'll go to the right and we'll zoom all the way back out to that higher number. So that was around 900 in this example. Let's play this back and see what we're working with. So that does work as a transition, but it's all a little bit too quick for my liking. So I'm just going to increase the gap between the first and second. Then I'll increase the gap between the third and the fourth keyframes. Let's see how that looks. That's good, but it doesn't hold quite long enough. So I'm just going to increase the gap between the second and the third keyframe now. Much better. Although at the moment that animation just looks a little bit robotic. So I need to convert the linear keyframes into easy ease keyframes. So I'm just going to highlight all of those keyframes, right click one of those, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And now when we play this back, that's much nicer. So as you can see, that is now completing our transition. Of course, though, if for some reason, if your transition is doing this, so you're seeing the video cut before the transition has filled the screen, then you just want to budge that clip over in between the second and the third keyframes like this, and that will make that really nice transition. Now, before we carry on with this video, I'm first just going to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. And in particular, I want to mention the After Effects course. Over on Skillshare, I have a two hour plus Adobe After Effects course, which covers everything from importing your footage to creating new shapes, masking, green screening, rotoscoping. It covers everything you could ever need when you're first getting started into Adobe After Effects. So if you're new to After Effects or you're just trying to brush up on some new skills, then click the link in the description below to check out the course. Now back to the video. So essentially we're now complete with this transition, but you can take this one step further and you can have multiple colors animating in at the same time. So if we just duplicate this layer, so we'll go Command C, Command V, we'll go into change to color. So color correction, change to color. We'll drop that on the second yellow solid. 
and we we'll go from this yellow. So we we'll use this eyedropper tool and then we'll select a color of our choice. Let's go for a blue maybe. There we go. And then we want to go change hue, lightness and saturation and then change by setting to color. Now at the moment, all you can see is we've got this blue transition. So if we offset this top one by a few frames, so let's go three frames to the right. You can see we've nudged that over three frames. Now when we play this back, you can see you've got the yellow and the blue animating in. But of course though, we can't see that animating out now. So if you did want to see that animating out as well, so you can see yellow and blue. If you wanted to see yellow and blue animating out, then we'll just go Command Shift D in the middle and then we'll just budge this back on itself. And there you go, you'll see that yellow now appearing. Of course though, don't forget to just get rid of the start bit of this cut. So yellow and blue, yellow and blue. If Command Shift and D isn't working for you by the way and you're stuck with this, then just make a copy of this. So we'll go Command C or Control C and then Command V or Control V again. And then we'll just get rid of the start of the duper cut, so there. We'll get rid of the end of the original. So you may have to nudge this back over. One, two, three. And now we can just nudge this top one over a little bit, bring that back to the middle, and that will give you that same effect. And of course you could do this with loads of different colors. So you can have three or four different layers animating in all with different colors. And you're going to get that really nice vibrant circle transition on your video footage. Of course, this has been done in Adobe After Effects, but the process is exactly the same in Adobe Premiere. So if you wanted to do this in Premiere rather than After Effects, then just follow through these same steps. But there you go. That is how you create this really nice vibrant transition inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.